Hi guys, Mr. Murphy again. We're doing the second part of standard seven RP2 uh, ratios and proportions, and that this basic standard is recognizing and representing proportional relationships between two quantities. And we are looking at 7.RP.2B. That's identifying the constant of proportionality, the unit rate in tables, graphs, equations, diagrams, and verbal descriptions of proportional relationships. So we're going to look at those one at a time. First of all, what is the constant of proportionality? That's the unit rate. How much does the quantity of a ratio increase or decrease when the unit increases by 1? So if you have a ratio of 1 to 4, um, so f uh, the unit is 1 and 4 is the quantity. So as 1 goes to 2, 4 goes to 8. And 1 goes to 3, 4 goes to 12. So the 4 is always going up by 4, 8, 12, like in multiplication. And the unit is going up 1, 2, 3. So if the unit jumps to 5, so from 1 to 5, then the quantity would jump from 4 to 20 because it's getting 5 times as big. <clears throat> we'll take a look at some of those. So look at this table. The, uh, the standard says we're looking at table, graphs, equations, and diagrams. So we're going to look at the table, graph, equation, and diagram one at a time. So look at the table, x and y. Uh, it starts at 0, 0. As x goes up by 1, y goes up by 8. Goes to 2, then to 16, and 3, 24. So you can see on the bottom row, the constant is it's always increasing by 8. Uh, you'll also notice that if you take the top number and multiply it by 8, you get the bottom number. So that's the constant of proportionality. The two ways you can figure it out is take the bottom number and divide it by the top number, the quantity divided by the units. 8 divided by 1 is 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 24 divided by, two, by 3 is 8. Or you can look from left to right. It goes from 0 to 8 to 16 to 24 so it's always adding 8 every single time so that's the constant of proportionality because it's always staying the same <clears throat> on a graph you want to look from point to point to point so uh, it starts at 0 and then it goes up by 1 and then to 2 and then to 3 so at 0 it starts at 0 of course and at 1 it goes up to 3, and then at 2, it goes up to 6, and then at 3, it goes up to 9. So our constant is always 3, and we can tell that's our constant of proportionality in two ways. First, you look at the 1 uh, at the bottom, and the constant is 3, or you can count each time. Every time it goes up by 1, it goes the every time we go to the right one the line goes up three points or if you actually look at it algebraically the slope of the line is every time we go up three one two three we go over one that's the constant proportionality is three over one so identify the constant in the equation is probably the easiest it's just the number. y equals 3x, the 3 is the constant. And a constant can sometimes be thought of as a number. <clears throat> Identify the constant in a verbal description. So here's a verbal description. A new bricklayer can set an average of 25 bricks an hour, but an experienced bricklayer can set as many as 125 bricks an hour. There's actually two constants in here. For a new bricklayer, the constant is 25 bricks per hour, but an experienced bricklayer, the constant is 125 bricks an hour. So in summary, the constant proportionality is the unit rate, but whatever's constant in your table, graph, or description. <clears throat> a unit rate in a table is how much the dependent value goes up when the independent value increases by 1. 
So when x gets up, goes up by 1, y goes up by 8, or whatever. <clears throat> a constant of proportionality on a graph is the slope of the graph. So how far the line goes up or down when the x value moves one value to the right. And in an equation, the constant of proportionality is simply the number. y equals 3x. 3 is your constant. So thank you for listening. And, oh, in a verbal description, look for the quantity per one unit. So we had uh, a new bricklayer could, lay t could set 25 bricks an hour. So one hour is the unit. The quantity is 25 bricks. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.